Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's feisty, fly, and the DJ whose love roller coaster ran its course on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Now healed and happy, she's living her best life and trying to help other women do the same with a new book, 30 Day Man Cleanse. Hello, somebody. Please <laughs> welcome Tracy Steele. Tracy! Hey. How are Hello. you? <laughs> Hello, my name. Good. Hello, good. How are you, oh, doll? Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Oh. So you're gonna leave me a copy of the book, I assume. Oh no, absolutely. Got, I got plenty of copies. I just like I'd like to hear about <laughs> this cleansing of the man. I've heard, you know, dietary cleansing. Yes. But a man cleanse. Man cleanse. Man cleanse. Man cleanse. You know, a lot of women do all kind of cleansing, colon cleansing, dietary cleansing, but they don't cleanse their mind. Mm. Yes. And when you get out of relationships, a lot of the times women jump back into another relationship, uh -huh. and she has all the baggage from the last relationship mm. and have no idea why things are not working out and you have to take a moment you have to take a break mm -hmm. and that's what 30 day man cleanse is about now Tracy mm -hmm. you have had a solid career as a DJ yeah. radio uh, personality mm -hmm. reality television mm -hmm. star mm -hmm. what first attracted you to the me to media and music what was your first mm -hmm. attraction when I was 18 years old, I heard Angie Martinez on the radio, and mm -hmm. I said, that's what I want to be. Like, her voice was so strong and amazing, mm -hmm. and she's so influential. Yes. And I just, that's it. That was it for me. I just knew yeah. that I wanted to be in entertainment. Mm -hmm. And you are doing it, honey. Yes, Thank God. You. I love that. <laughs> yes. But I just want to get back on this book, 30 Day so, Man Clan. Yeah. So what made you come up with the title, and what's the premise? If I were a reader, what would you like for me to take away from the book? Well... I was in a very toxic relationship, okay. and when I got out of the relationship, I was crying to my friends, like, what is wrong? Mm. And one of my friends said, you need to take a break. And I said, please, I've been breaking forever. And she said, mm. no, completely and utterly cut men off. Yeah. No mm. communication whatsoever. And then take the time to pray and to find yourself and to figure out what you want. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. where 30 Day Man Cleanse came about because you are taking 30 days away from men completely. No distractions, no disturbances, it's just you and God. Mm. So that's where the title came from. Yeah. And I felt like this book could help women because there is nothing wrong with taking 30 days to be still. Yeah. yeah. And find yourself and mm -hmm. love yourself and build back up your self-esteem because a lot of times when you get out of a relationship you feel like it was your fault. What is wrong mm -hmm. with me? Yeah. You beat yourself up. Mm -hmm. So this is 30 How, days. Why do we do that? I, you know, I don't know. You know, it's just a woman thing, I think. We just yeah. turn up on ourselves. Child. We do, oh, we no. do. It, we think it's us, and if, and then the men, they move on quickly, because that's how they do. Yeah. Mm. And then we look at the other woman like, why her? What's yeah. wrong with me? Mm. I mean, no, there's so many things that we do. And in this 30 days, it's all about you, loving yeah. you, yeah. building yourself up. Yeah. Now, Tracy, in the book, you list the first names of some of the men that you were in the rela in relationships yes. with. Yes. Don't put them all, honey. Just list the first name. Okay. <laughs> Just first name. Just now, first name, honey. Which ones were the most painful to write about? Mm. And are there any of the guys that, uh, any of them you wish worked out? Le Preston, in my book, Le Preston is the, um, the hardest person to write about because it was substance abuse. It was physical and mental abuse. Mm -hmm. So that was, I mean... Writing that, I, cry, I think I cried through the entire time I wrote that. Mm -hmm. And then Stephen, in my book, I would, I wished it would have worked if he was a different. I mean, he's a narcissist and he's oh, a sociopath, oh, mm. so it wasn't going to work. But if he wasn't that, all the other qualities that he had were so great that I wanted a future with him. But clearly, that wasn't going to work out. So, mm. well, you've withstood some very challenging relationships. I mean, it's yeah. very hard to kind of work through some things, especially when a person has an addiction. Right. Um, and I'm right. sure that probably kept you in the relationship a lot longer than what you really you know would have wanted yeah, to be. I wanted to, a lot of women want to save. You want to save the guy. You want to build him mm -hmm. up. You want to help him. Mm -hmm. So even though I really didn't know much about substance abuse, I wanted to be that person to get them off. Mm -hmm. And that's just ridiculous. This you know, they need to help themselves. They, yeah. they need to want that for themselves. Mm -hmm. So women need to stop doing that. Stop finding men and trying to build them into what you want them to be. Yes, you either love them for good. who they are or you don't. Yeah. That's now, good. One of the things I love in the book is you, you quoted, the men I've dated had me ready to cut somebody. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. 
They can bring out parts of you that you don't even know exist. Yes, mm. absolutely. Now, I can totally and completely relate to that. Yes. Me too, <laughs> child. Okay. On a couple of occasions. I'm like, okay. me too, child. <laughs> and almost the current occasion, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no shade, keep on <laughs> But um, what, I have to ask, what was the most surprising thing that you recognized about yourself through these relationships? I think um, in my first, the first heartbreak I had, which was my, my son's father, Andrew, mm -hmm. who was in the book, that was the most pain I ever felt, I think, mm. in history. And I didn't want to live anymore. I, I contemplated suicide. Those are the things that I never thought would ever happen to me. And that, you know, he brought that out of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I suicide. mean, wow. yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah. it, was, it was a hard time. I, you know, I had a child. Mm -hmm. you, you think you're going to have a future with someone. I saw my family, and then I lost it just that quick. Mm. You know what I mean? You have yeah. that image in your head, and then you lose it, and then you have to grieve that relationship. Yes. Yeah, you, you know, so it was tough, and that's, yeah. Well, some people may say, ah, oh, Tracy, she's just bitter. You know, she's <laughs> male bashing yeah. this book because I'm not supporting that. Mm -hmm. What do yeah. you say to those people? I mean, I don't understand why you can't support peace. Because it's 30 days of peace in Message. your life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 30 days of learning yourself, building yourself up, happiness. And it's 30 days of prayer. Yeah. Because I write scriptures, I break down the scriptures, and then we pray together. Mm -hmm. I take this ride with you for the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely not male bashing because we're, we're praying to God. Yes. And it's, right. not, it's right. not really even about men. Yes, 30 day man cleanses the title. But it's, but not it's about, about them. women. It's, it's about, about yeah. you. Yeah. connecting yeah. with yourself. Absolutely. Exactly and reconnecting with God. Yeah. Hello, somebody. All right. Well, Tracy, we just love you down to the yeah. circle, thank and we you. love your message and your book. Thank and you. And we thank you so much for coming to the circle. You're welcome anytime. And if you want to pick up Tracy's book, 30 Day Man Cleans, which some of you probably should, it's on Amazon.com. <laughs> I actually think everyone should have a I copy of it. Leave me one, girl. Yeah. <laughs>